Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, June 4th and I'm out at one of my sites here in Michigan um, where last year I found a double. I found a paleo point and I found a really killer uh, piece made out of Indiana green. Um, it's also the site uh, years ago where I found my very first point. So um, I come back to the site every year and I don't find a whole lot. Um, I'm always hoping just to find one point. So I walked for a couple hours today and haven't found a whole lot. Um, found a couple flake tools. Um, let's see, this will focus here. Found this one here. Beautiful piece of material. But, uh, like I said, we don't find a ton of really pretty material here uh, locally. So when I do find some, it's really neat because obviously it was it was brought up here. But you can see some really good flaking there. I got that one, and then I found I did find a, a really nice little red thumb scraper. I do have a piece here in the ground. It's not an arrowhead by any means or any sort of point, but uh, look at the size of this. I thought maybe it was a, a silt at first, but I'm thinking it's just a big piece of Bayport shirt, which is which is probably our most local uh, material here. Um, it's, it's pretty sizey and it does look like it's got some working on the edge of it. So I'm gonna film it just in case it's anything cool and in case I find something else. So let's get it out of the ground here. It's a big old piece. A big piece of material, wow. I don't find anything that big ever. Yeah, it's got, I know it's not a point, but that is one heck of a cool piece. It does look like it's got a busted spot there, unfortunately, but it's got incredible work. It looks like all around this edge. I thought maybe it was a big silt made out of this stuff, but it looks like it's just a huge flake of material that they turn into a, uh, basically like a big tool or, or, scraper, or scraper of some sort. It's a shame that that's busted right there because it probably came all the way around. But uh, either way, it's a cool piece. I got a little bit longer to work, uh, walk, so see if I can't find something else. All right, guys. Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, May 27th, happy Memorial Day. Um, was out for a little hunt today on a Michigan site uh, that you guys have probably seen in the past. Uh, found a paleo point here a couple years ago. And um, I get a chance usually to walk it every year. Last year kind of uh, wasn't the greatest because it was so, uh, so dusty and dry. This year we've had excellent conditions. As you can see, the field is really wet. Rained a bunch last night. Um, been out here for an hour or so, haven't found a ton. Um, I did pick up this really pretty piece here. I didn't video it, but yeah, look at the flint, the flint that is. Super, super nice uh, scraper. And I don't find a ton out here, as you guys have probably seen in the past. Uh, you know, if I find a point or two, um, that's a heck of a good day. Some years I just find a scraper like this, so. But it adds to the site collection um, here close to my house, so it's kind of cool. I did find this as well. This is probably just a rock, but man, look at this thing. It is, it's like, I thought, I saw it from a ways away and I thought it was like a, looked like a ball or a bowling ball or something like that. It's, it is super polished. I don't know what the heck, if it's just a rock, could be polished from the river, but I'm going to go home and clean it up anyway. But the main reason for the, the camera on is I think I have a point here. Just walked up and hit it with my stick and I saw that edge can't tell anything else about it but I'm hoping that it's there let's see what we got here it is a point guys well that is a day maker for me like I said I don't find maybe one point a year here if that there's been multiple years where I've only found a scraper or two so if I can come down here and find a point that is a day maker Gorgeous, gorgeous Michigan point. Look at how thin that thing is. Like I said, I couldn't tell in the dirt if, if that uh, other side was busted or not, but it looks like it's 100%. Daymaker. I got uh, I got a little bit more of the field yet to walk, so maybe we'll get lucky and find something else. All right, thanks, guys.
Hey everybody, uh, Sunday, June 2nd. I'm out here again on a Michigan site of mine, um, I, which I call the Lakeside site. It's a big site that I found, or a small site that I found on a big lake a couple years ago. Um, I don't find a whole lot here, just like any other Michigan site of mine, uh, maybe a point every other year or so, but I just walked up on a piece. Um, I've been out here for a few hours, found a bunch of flakes, um, nothing great. Found one broken tip I'll show later, but I just walked up on that. I can't tell if it focuses, there it is. I can't tell for sure, but it does look like it's worked. I am keeping my fingers crossed. I don't have a whole lot. Oh, dude, it is a killer point, guys. Oh my gosh. Heck yeah, heck yeah. I'm trying to be quiet, oh my God, look at that. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Dude. That's way better than I thought it was. Wow. Oh my gosh, I had no, no thought of finding anything here. Like I said, it's been a couple years since I even found a point here. Let alone that. Wow. Heavily ground. Most of the stuff I found here has been either middle or early archaic over the years really sure what that is I'll get it washed up and I'll have it in the cleanup this might be part of another video with a bunch of other stuff because it's been pretty slow for me this year so I might have to mix a few to add or to make a video so wow guys what a killer Michigan point all right thanks Alright guys, still out here uh, June 2nd. I haven't found a whole heck of a lot more as far as points goes. Um, found a pile of flakes after that point. Um, I did pick up, let's see here if it shows, that tip. Thought it was a flake and I grabbed it. Realized it was a really well worked. Oh, I kind of figured I'd drop it there, it's so small. Yeah, there you go. Super well worked tip. But I did just come up on something that doesn't, it's not a point, but it does look like a big piece of flint. So pretty flat on that side. I'm assuming. I'm just gonna have some flaking on it. It's pretty good size for what I'm finding now. It's broke on that side. Oh yeah. To get it washed up, but I can see flaking right there. Oh yeah, all, look at that, all around that edge. It's a shame that's busted right there. Can't tell if that's old break or new. But yeah, but just a big, big uniface blade. With a really good, really good worked edge on it. Happy to find that. Like I said, I don't find a ton of stuff here on this small site. Um, but anything I find that's worked definitely adds to the, uh, the site collection. So we'll get that washed up and, um, show you later. All right. Take it easy guys. Hey everybody, July 7th, uh, Sunday here. Um, this video is going to be just a quick cleanup of a few different hunts that I did, um, here close to home in Michigan over the last year or two. Um, I don't find a ton here. I always say that on my videos, so I kind of have to put a few hunts together. Um, but I will go through a few of the finds here. Um, not a whole lot, but uh, this uh, there's a couple cool stones that I found. Um, this thing in particular, just super, super heavily polished. Um, I don't think it's like an artifact of any sort. I just thought it was a really neat stone. Um, but yeah, it is like as smooth as all get out. And then there was this piece too that was found on that same site. And at first I thought maybe it was something with all these grooves in it, but I, I would imagine that it's just a natural um, erosion water wear, but um, still kind of a neat stone um, from that particular site. And these, these are sites, or excuse me, this is from a site um, in one of my videos, a previous video that I found at Paleo Point on and a handful of other pieces. 
this uh, stuff here is, is, is what came off of there in the last year. Um, I did happen to find this, which is pretty, pretty sizey piece for, for what I find. It's just a big piece of Bayport shirt, which is probably one of the only nice um, lithic materials that we have here in Michigan. Um, and uh, it's hard to tell in this light. Unfortunately, it's got a big busted spot here, but it is a big, big uh, scraping tool. And it's got uh, some really fine edge work. I don't know if it's showing up there all the way around this piece. So uh, I'm always happy to find the tools or, or anything for that matter on my local sites. So yeah, if you can see all the edge work in here, but yep, I was happy to find that. That was one of the years, I think that might've been last year, the year before, that was one of the years that I didn't actually find any points, but just found that, um, found this piece. Of, looks like charcoal on that site and then this year i found uh, it's a really nice thumb scraper or a little duck bill scraper what do you want to call it some cortex still on there but worked really well around that edge got a really some really cool banding in it and then i was uh, fortunate to find one one nice point this year also made of bayport shirt just kind of a lighter gray variety but it's got some good working on it nice little point pretty thin not exactly sure on the type but uh yeah very happy to find that and then my other michigan site that i that i walk quite a bit is a little lakeside site that i found and this year i was fortunate to um to find uh unfortunately found this tip right here because this was you can see it's really well worked tip and I found this big piece, which is also another sizey piece. And I don't know what kind of material that is. It doesn't look local, but um, looks like something I'd find in Indiana with these like little blue and purple uh, stripes in it. But it's got some really nice edge work all the way around. So pretty sizable tool for what I find. And then I was fortunate to find a really nice point on that site as well this year. That material, I don't know for sure. I don't think it's Bayport. It looks a little bit too high quality for it. Um, I'm I'm thinking it's a a motley type. It's got a little bit of a, a break right there on the base, but I'm not going to complain because, like I said, there's years that I don't find any points on that particular site. So to have one pop up, super happy with one from both my Michigan sites. So there's the Michigan finds uh, for the year. Um, so I'll put that video together and get that on. And then I'll have another video coming up after this one. Um, and it's going to be just a collaboration again of a, of a handful of Indiana hunts that Tika and I did this year. Um, nothing in particular, just, just a, a handful of uh, hunts together. So thanks, guys. Um, have a good summer. Bye.